sure you guys know all the stuff happening with Tucker Carlson, right? Um, so recently, uh, that guy, Patrick Bet David, right? PBD, PBD, right? Is that what he's called, right? And from the podcast Valuetainment, put out this um, open contract letter type of thing, essentially trying to um, tease Tucker Carlson to joining his platform. And number one, I was just surprised at the amount of money he was offering. I was like, shit, I didn't know Valuetainment was like doing that well business-wise. But then I remembered watching all these YouTube videos on that Patrick Dave Patrick Bet David guy and I you know I know a lot of guys on YouTube basically say he's a scam artist and say that he runs like MLMs multi-level marketing um agencies and shit and just a bit of a shady dude overall right a lot of that kind of um who's that guy that that um Dave Cardona something Cordain I don't know that guy is Cordain Cardone that guy that's that flips the houses there are a lot of those kind of dodgy kind of hustle bro types on the internet regardless anyway I see some clips of value tainment online some clips of them are all right but in general he kind of comes across like you know just a little bit of a shady dude so I was surprised that he was able to flip in offer this amount of money but it did come across incredibly incredibly cringe how much you're sucking up to flipping um T tucker carlson but it also was kind of interesting to see um yeah, that's his name grant, grant grant cardone that's it thank you charlie k it was interesting to see just how much value tucker carlson must have out there and i guess because i'm in the uk i don't watch you know fox news we do have it here but i don't really watch the news in general but i do know that you know from just reading articles online that Tucker Carlson is a bit of a big deal when it comes to ratings. Like I think he, uh, he, uh, he basically accounted for a lot of the reasons why a lot of people watch Fox news in the first place. He's got a big following. And I think even his um, Twitter that he did recently, where he kind of spoke about the firing from Fox, it got loads of views, I think in the millions. So clearly he's got a big pull. I just didn't know it was worth this amount. That's what I'm saying in terms of the offer. This is pretty crazy. It kind of shows you that, you know, like, stuff has just changed nowadays like these platforms these networks they're essentially beholden to the talent that's on them they kind of have to acquiesce to their every needs in some ways and it also makes me think about what i said earlier before about kai Sina, you know basically demanding twitch to offer him a certain level of a contract and me saying before that are oh, twitch are in a position where they don't need to offer him anything because they, they know most likely there's going to be another Kai Cena, you know, popping up later down the line because there's always a never ending flow of new content creators and streamers popping up. But it also makes me think sometimes when people are really good, you just you have to pay for the talent. You know, this might be uh, one of them things. So maybe that Kai Cena guy has a point of demanding what he's demanding because when you're just good, you're good. Or when you've got value, you've got value and someone should, and they sh should be compensated for it maybe. But the letter says as follows, courtesy of value tainment. It says, dear Tucker, I'll get right to the point. We want you to partner with us in what we feel is a noble and necessary effort to define the future of media. Yeah. Anyway, the bullet points. Here's our offer. 100 million over five years madness an equity stake in valuetainment president of valuetainment and a board seat to project um our strategic vision and voice your own podcast and other daily weekly shows documentaries and movies covering topics you care about what else we are all ears our convictions about freedom liberty and truth run deep and we believe that we are an absolute right fit for you in america wow we will we, we while we may not be the biggest media company we are new media leader driving into the future to make truth to make truth fair debate and commentary more accessible consumable and protected we are 100 percent serious about our offer respectfully patrick bet davis ceo that's a pretty crazy deal but i don't know what he was getting i don't know what he was getting on his um fox deal per year because 20 mil per year isn't too bad coming off the back of a firing, right? But then, you know, it depends on deliverables, how many podcasts he has to do, blah, 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 blah. But it does go to show the value of flipping Tucker Carlson. He can be annoying. I know people don't like the guy. I don't necessarily tune into him. I don't check out his stuff. I don't, I'm not watching fucking Fox News any time of day. I'm not watching any news channel. Let that be known. But it's clearly evidence that this this fucking dorky looking guy with used to wear these silly bow ties and he's got that incredibly punchable face he's he's the truth he's legitimately the truth if people are offering him this kind of money like just imagine if he doesn't if only he didn't have all that bad smudge on his name if only he was a bit more brand friendly 
and he didn't have all the flipping cancel culture stuff around him, like all this shit, the text messages, you know, that had been leaked from fucking New York Times or this recent article, right, that posted, um, you know, another video, Tucker Carlson makes insinuating remarks about women. Like they clearly got their eye on him, right? They, like it, it kind of shows like as soon as he got fired from Fox, all these fucking things come out of the woodwork. Like the protection of Fox is removed and now he's kind of on his own and they clearly want to get him out of the paint. Because I think... um. I don't actually know why. I think I'm thinking out loud. I think a lot of people was say, oh, Eddie D said Tucker was making 20 million a year at Fox. Oh, so that's not really that good of a deal, really. Or maybe it is because I guess with Fox is every day, isn't it? I didn't know that Eddie D. Fucking hell. He's making 20 million at Fox. Shit. So, but I think if he's having to work every single day and then you're doing three podcasts a week, that's pretty, you know, for one hour a day, that's pretty different. I would, I would assume. Um, but what's the reason? What's the main reason why everyone wants to get Tucker Carlson out of the paint? Apart from being a Republican, I know you know some people out there in the state, especially in the media, don't like him just because he's Republican and shit. But from what I remember, he does, he's not really a fan of Trump, and most probably, um, yeah. So what? Oh no, the one thing I think of, they probably blame him. That's what I remember. They probably blame him for the for the fucking thing that happened on what you call it on Jan Six, isn't it? I don't know why, but I think they blame him for that. Maybe they think he. Ladies, he he was um what's it call it? He was um encouraging people to kind of go down there or some shit. I don't really know. I wasn't really paying attention to politics too tough around that time. But I do remember people saying that he played a role in it in some way, shape or form. I think so. I don't know. But it's just surprised that people are going after him this hard. I'm not really too sure why, you know? He's too dorky and too lame looking to be involved in actual like assault things. He's not going to bully anybody, I don't think, looking the way he does anyway. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm interest, interested to find out why. But regardless of all that, regardless of all that, um, I quickly want to check this article regarding the, it's not how white men fight. It's an article courtesy of New York Times. It says Tucker Carlson's text message that alarmed Fox leaders. New York Times are saying this is the reason why he was fired from Fox, right? This is the reason. So he sent this message. Who did he send this to? Okay, Tucker Carlson's text message to a producer. Let's see if you guys think this is worthy enough to get fired. Because I, I think I think it's not, personally. But hey, what do I know? A couple of weeks ago, I was watching a video of people fighting in a street in Washington. A group of peop a group of Trump guys surrounded an Antifa kid and started punching the living shit out of him. It was three against one, at least. Jumping a guy like that is dishonorable, obviously. It's not how white men fight. Yeah. <laughs> so how do black men fight then like packs of monkeys and gorillas is that what you're trying to say is that what we do like i don't think so man i, I don't think i've ever got into a fight and went to act like a monkey you know what i mean or do like the monkey kind of dance, like fighting like fucking you know what's his what's his name <laughs> bruce lee like that's a weird thing to say it's a weird thing to say but it also doesn't make any sense because there's many 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 videos online like especially if you go on especially if you follow the twitter account called fight porn i think and there's some other ones i follow all of them there's plenty of videos of trailer trash and regular white people fighting in groups like plenty of them like plenty videos so this idea that only black people like to like what's that thing called um like to uh what's your thing called when you sneak someone from the back punching or like to rush rush people that's not true just go on a public freak out subreddit you see plenty of videos of white people rushing people. So that's just a weird comment. But I don't think it's enough to get fired, personally. It continues. Yet suddenly, I found myself rooting for the mob against a man. Hoping they'd hit him harder, kill him. <laughs> I still don't think that's enough to get fired, personally. Watching a video and hoping somebody dies is not enough to get fired. Because I've watched videos where somebody's being annoying on a plane or in a supermarket. And I thought, you know what? Why didn't someone just push this woman in front of a car? Like, you know, it is what it is. I'm just, I'm, you know, I, it's not going to happen because I'm watching a video of it and it probably didn't happen. That's why I'm watching the video. But you'll have to say, you'll have, you'll have to think these things. Come on. I can't get fired for thinking things. Uh, anyway, it says, I really wanted them to hurt the kid. I could taste it. <laughs> okay. Now he might lose me here. Okay. <laughs> he might lose me here. I'm not tasting the blood of some woman that I'm watching the video of being annoying on a plane or a train. I'm not tasting her potential blood as she splats on the floor or as her head fucking gets shoved into the propeller blade or something. I don't want that. I just want her to kind of feel injured or something. You know what I mean? To get like maybe punching in the head or the nose, but I'm not, I don't taste her blood. <clears throat> he continues, he says, um, 
Then somewhere deep in my brain, an alarm went off. This isn't good for me. I'm becoming something I don't want to be. <laughs> Honestly, who's sending... These are the kind of texts you send to somebody after a fucking, you know, after a session on the slopes, if you get what I mean. Or after having a couple of pills. Like, this is what you send somebody. Why is he just texting people this randomly, producers? Does he have any friends? The Antifa creep is a human being. Much as I despise what I, he says and does, as much as I'm sure he, I'd hate him personally if I knew him, I shouldn't glow over his suffering. I should be bothered by it. I should remember that somewhere, somewhere, somebody probably loves the kid and would be crushed if he was killed. If I don't care about those things, if I reduce people to their politics, how am I better than his? This is a pretty thoughtful, introspective text. It starts off fucking insane, but I still don't think this is enough to get fired. What do you guys think? Should you get fired from your job if this gets found? Like, imagine you're texting one of your colleagues at work and you accidentally text your boss this. Should you get fired from work for this? I don't think so. Because people say way worse on fucking group texts. On group chat, sorry. I know, I know I have people on my group chats that say some fucking crazy shit. But it's not enough to get fired. But then it also makes me think, in the entertainment industry, if somebody fires you for stuff like this, it probably means they were looking for an excuse to fire you anyway. So maybe Tucker Carlson's card was marked a long time ago and it didn't matter what he did or didn't do, they were gonna get they were gonna get him out of the paint. You know? Maybe that's the case. Maybe that's what's happening also. I think that's what's happening. Like they wanted him out, they found any excuse to get him out, and then you know what I mean they stuck him out again. But I just not too sure, like, in terms of employment law, how does how can this constitute a firing? He's going to have a good case. And if he decides to sue Fox, he might have a good case because how does this count? How does this account for like, like, what the hell is this? What is this? What is this like? What is this like a violation of? I'm interested to see. But yeah, that happened. And then, of course, the follow up is this article courtesy of fucking um, Guardian. Tarkarson makes insinuating remarks on women in leaked video. Let's see the remarks here. New footage was published on Thursday by the progressive media watchdog, Media Matters. In the video, Carson asks an unnamed staff when they got their ladies' room and powder their rooms. Well, let's actually see this, actually. I actually just want to, let's actually watch the video because I don't want to fucking read this out. Let's see what they say. Fox Lee, Tarkarson asks makeup. Her. Okay. Again, it is enough to get fired. Let's see if this is enough to get fired if you guys think the same thing. Because I bet you it's not. Can I ask you a question? You don't have to answer. It's personal. I'm not speaking of you, but more in general of ladies. When they go to the ladies' room and powder their noses, is there actually nose powdering going on? Sometimes. <laughs> He's a lame. He's a lame. And he's clearly uncomfortable and awkward and clumsy around women and shit, which makes me wonder why he does it, why he has kids and why he's married. Like this guy, he sounds like a bit of a virgin. But again, it's not enough to get fired. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Most of the time, it's lipstick. Do pillow fights ever break out? You don't have to. Not, in, have the, to, not no. in the bed. Okay, not in the bed. Okay, <laughs> that'd be more a dorm activity. Okay. This is naughty for <laughs> Okay, if he if he starts talking about do you start scissoring each other and stuff, cool. But this is a bit as Kucha is saying, this is a bit corny, it's a bit lame, but again, this is not enough to get fired. I don't I, I don't think it is. Territory. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you are such a good sport, such a good person. Thank you. I know you do, but you do not deserve that and I mean it with great affection. I got you, man. Which way do you want to go? Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Let me tune in. Can I ask you a question? Come on, man. Come on. That's nothing. That was the big expose. Look at the fucking headline as well. These fucking guys, man. They marked his card. I'm, I'm, I'm certain of it. His card was marked. They wanted to get him out from... That didn't matter. Look at that. Fox leaks. Tucker Carlson asks makeup artists if pillow fights ever break out in women's bathrooms. Like... That is so soft. Like, that's nothing. What's the headline on The Guardian? Headline on The Guardian. Tucker Carson makes insinuating remarks on women in New League video. Man, that is exactly, literally, come on. 
you can I, I get not liking the guy like I said he's got an incredibly punchable face he's he's sometimes says the most his takes are fucking terrible for sure of course but come on really but hey his card was marked it is what it is he's probably going to get a fat settlement from Fox on the back of it also because I don't think he, what he sent as a text was even worthy of getting fired either so he's probably got a case there if he wants to do that but yeah that's some bullshit man that's some bullshit um yeah exactly yeah exactly Jay. I would unalive myself <laughs> my job too exactly just imagine being a journalist and that's what you have to do that's what your your script that's 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 your big like reveal expose that he may have told a fleet like a makeup artist like he, he just that just sounds like office banter office banter's like that when you're in the when you're in the kitchen staff room in the lift like you know whatever isn't it like the kind of guys that'll say that's what she said those type of jokes like that's what they talk about like that's just office banter you just you know grin you laugh you have a bit of a joke and you keep it moving it's not that 